happy new year and happy world kinky day yes y'all for the best kinky recipe visit sweet ajele junction okay that is where you will get the best gakeke yes yo i am so happy that we made it into a new year and i cannot wait for the things that god have installed for us all this year so in my last kinky recipe some people were a bit confused so i said why not make another one and it is world kinky day after all so let's begin well i began already <laughs> so i have this huge cup here and i'm going to measure three cups now out of those three cups i'm going to cook one into my aflata okay yes so that is the ratio you're going to measure three equal parts one part you will cook into your aflata and then we are going to mix the whole kinky mixture with the other two cups which is raw i hope that makes sense what i just said because i want everybody to get it this time all right so as you can see i'm adding water to the one that i'm going to be using for the aflata and i'm going to cook it so to this i'm going to add enough salt yes that looks like a lot but when i add the other two raw portions i'm not going to be adding any more salt i had questions that is the aflata supposed to be fully cooked yes of course as children we used to eat the aflata at times we were so hungry we couldn't wait for the kinky to be ready so they will serve us the aflata and i do not think that my parents or whoever was serving us this aflata will serve us uncooked food it will not be good for us so yes cook this until it is completely cooked and it has to be very very soft and also have enough salt in it and please make sure it does not become lumpy well because of the mixing process if it becomes lumpy you know you can get them out when it's time to mash it up with your hands so but i try not to get any lumps it makes everything very nice and easy so yeah we'll cook this until it is done So our aflata is looking good but I'm just going to add a bit more water and let it cook for about five more minutes then we will continue meanwhile I'm just going to add some of my condo to the bottom of my pot and it is advisable to use the heavy pots because when stirring it you want it to stay put okay so now I'm just mixing the aflata and it is just perfect it is at the texture that i want it is so nice and just absolutely soft okay so we're going to transfer it into our pot with the condo and then we will add the rest of the condo to it now i'm going to add the two parts condo yes i think that was where the misunderstanding was you are, you will add the two parts condo and we will use our um giginchu you know our wooden stick we're going to use it to mix it very well because you don't want to put your hand in it at this time because it's hot so you mix it until everything is nicely incorporated and then i'm just going to spread it out so that it can cool or warm enough to where my um fingers can tolerate it and then i'll get my hands in yes we are about to get messy <laughs> Thank you. 
once you've gotten your um giginchō out your wooden spoon you want to spread it out to get it to a temperature that your hand or fingers can tolerate so i just spread it out to air it out nicely while that's going on i'll be soaking my corn husk because i want it to be nice and soft be sure to wash it too because you don't know who handled it okay at this point it's nice and warm to where my hands can tolerate it so i'm just going to work it this is a sort of kneading this will help it become that nice stretchy texture that we so love and it will also help you break any lumps in case you um come across any so once that is done we are ready to roll yes rock and roll <laughs> all right so now i have my water the husk is ready we are ready so in my previous video i made all the balls before i started but this one i'll just um ball it up as i go so once you roll the ball you want to put it in the middle of the husk and you want to add more husk if you need it then you turn it over overlap the husk and push it in or insert it into the dough and you do the same with the um excess that's still sticking out just make sure you push it all the way in and then squeeze it together make sure it's all the way in though once that is done we're just going to turn it around twist this around and push it in as usual and that's it we just made the impossible husk possible okay without plastic wrap although now they sell um plastic wrap that is food grade is bpa free and everything so i love that one okay so yeah i'm going to show you all a couple of times in the beginning it may be a little tricky but the more you use it the better you will become at it so yeah you just turn it around overlap insert the other side insert as well just make sure it's nicely tucked in there and then squeeze it together and it should not open up in the cooking process and even if it does it will stay together for the most part yes yeah, so i promised i was going to share how i did that or i used this husk and i hope you enjoyed this video because it's nice it's simple it's easy and also the softer the husk the easier it'll be for you though so when you're buying it look for the ones that looks soft and you will love it so we're done all we have to do now is to cook it so i'm just going to line the bottom of my pot with uh, some more husk and i will arrange it in there and onto our fire it will go <laughs> I made a baby one so I just added that too and I'm adding my water and I'm using my corn husk to cover it in the original video I used plastic and people were coming for my head but usually when I make recipes I try to make it as authentic as I know it or as I remember it and that is why I used the plastic I then doubled it up with my parchment paper so yes please don't come for me this time i did the right thing right <laughs> okay so now we're just going to cook it and check it at intervals to make sure that it has enough water you don't want it to burn on you and i'm cooking this on medium high and you want it right now it is not cooked you can see that it's bouncing back when it's bouncing back it is not ready because i had some people they cooked theirs and they said that they cooked it for three hours and it, it you know it was bouncing back or it was still hard please every gas is different mine may take three hours to cook yours may not just cook it until it is done and you will know when it's done when it's nice and soft okay so i'm just turning it around so that the ones that were um facing up can face down so that it could cook well as well and also add hot water don't add cold water yes so yeah i think this video will be much better it may be longer 
but i think i've explained it more cover it up keep adding water check it every 10 to 15 minutes to ensure that it's not burning and cook it until it is nice and ready this is the final check and as you can see it's looking soft okay if your kinky is not at this texture don't say it's three hours so you're taking it off the fire as you saw it is nice it is soft and you want to have cold water to attempt to take it out or use a spoon or something to take it out i watched this done as a child and i always wanted to do it myself so i just get a thrill out of doing this but i have my very very cold water out there that i'm using and like i said you can also use a spoon to just get it out and i'm getting it out into my chest right here and that's it our kinky is ready we are enjoying our world kinky day with some fresh kinky okay yes it is possible it is possible you can make your own perfect gakenke at home without any cassava dough all right and here we are enjoying it with some shito some baked turkey some fried eggs sweetie tin tins in jano you see it didn't even open up eh? you can do it to use your impossible husk make it possible so i'm going to run away and enjoy this um very comi right here eh? and i'll see y'all tomorrow to show you how it looks like even the next day so this is the next day i didn't want to break it up yesterday because of course it's fresh this is coming from yes baby coming and i'm going to open it up for you all as you can see it looks just yum yum okay so here we go do you see this do you see this not a pinch of cassava dough in there this is the authentic gakomi okay and i didn't even warm it up and it was since yesterday so yes make some enjoy this beautiful world kinky day and a happy 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 new year to my sweet team thank you all so much for sticking with me thank you for showing me all the love i love you all so so much until i see you in my next video stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of family is life's greatest blessing and guys ke onamini o chemi sweet eh mahabutu bye y'all